Hi guys, I'm Ian and this is my 3D printing update. I wasn't planning on making opening mail a regular thing, but it turns out that this week uh, I did get a bit of mail. The, uh, I couldn't resist a couple of uh, very tempting items uh, following uh, recommendations, I guess, uh, from on YouTube and I got another couple, so I'll just quickly uh, run through those. So, uh, first and foremost, um, I got my sticker from Joe, uh, 3D Making Noob. So this is the uh, official 3DMN mural sticker, and I'll be uh, trying to find a place to display that proudly somewhere around. Um, really, I'm proud that I'm part of that community project, so that, that's really good. Also, the post came. Let's see if I can get those straight. That one's upside down, so there you go, straight. So a couple of stickers from uh, Ben Hawksworth at uh, Hawk 3D Proto. And I uh, hope you can see this, but these are really, really nice. This is his logo. If you've seen him recently do videos on his Maker Coins, which I will put a link up somewhere up there, um, you will probably recognise this. It usually on his Maker Coin, he's got the, the lettering uh, H3DP on there as well, but uh, in this case, it's just clean, and I think I think it looks really nice. I think it's uh, with that, you know, the simplified with just the hawk looks looks really good. So uh, again, I'll be looking for somewhere to stick those. So as with most weeks, uh, I did get some filament this week. Um, this was um, Chroma filament I ordered from MVO Engineering, and I uh, I saw Tom Jackson printing uh, as usual awesome things uh, with this on uh, Twitter and also uh, Ben Hawksworth I saw I've got some so I thought okay, it's time to take the jump so I just ordered some of this up and it's the Chroma MT Matte Black and you can't see this because I'm keeping it in the bag just for the moment but it, it looks absolutely stunning on the wheel so I'm really looking forward to, uh, to having a play with that. Next, if you've got any sense, you'll be watching uh, Joe 3D Maker Noobs videos, and he's just released one on um, basically making flexible stuff shiny, which was uh, which was really good. And it was the the push that I finally needed to to buy myself a, a heat gun. So this is just the Tap Life one, which I think is I think it's one of those Amazon uh, branded jobs, and. I, it's, it's one of these things that's good to have in your arsenal as a 3D printer for removing strings and stuff like that. So I'd always thought I'd get that, but uh, I, I just never got round to it just for the purpose of strings. But as soon as I saw that for Joe, I don't know when I'll get round to actually <laughs> trying out the technique that Joe was showing, but um, it just pushed me over the edge and I thought, oh, I need to get myself one of those. And last, but by no means least, from the postman this week, that came this. And no, it isn't a pizza. This is actually, um, for those that are in the know, they will see that it's a, a Anycubic Ultra Base. This Ultra Base is a size for the CR10. So that is a present for the CR10. The CR10 has not had much love just recently. Um, I think the newer and uh, swankier printers getting getting all the joy. So uh, I thought I finally would. You can just see that. I thought I finally would treat the CR10 to a better look. Uh, that'll be going on there, replacing the IKEA mirror. I can't remember what the uh, what the name of the mirror is, but it'll be replacing the IKEA mirror that's on there currently. And uh, I'll be giving that a go this week, I think. So that was all that came through the post this week. So uh, just another, a couple more things that I wanted to talk about. Firstly, this is um, a print of the logo for a charity that my mother is actually very heavily involved in, not just my mother, but uh, my sister and brother-in-law as well. Uh, my sister actually designed this this logo, um, just um, designed, I guess, by hand. And so I, I took the took the drawing, took the illustration. Well, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a lot of fireworks going on. Um, took the illustration and turned that into an SVG, from which I then extruded it and printed it. Now the idea is that I'm going to print some badges on a smaller scale but just for the purposes of uh, 
you know why don't you i've just decided to print it this size um i'll again i'll leave the links if you're in the uk and you're in the kind of greater manchester area then i would highly recommend you go and see this it's a living history museum and uh, it's called clayton hall and it's in clayton funnily enough uh, in manchester so uh, i will put the links down below um and and that basically is the uh, the last thing that i wanted to talk about and those that saw it, that um, managed to uh, to get onto the the hangout chat, will have seen that I uh, I made my debut on the uh, 3D uh, the Friday night 3DP hangout. Um, Martin uh, 3D Print in Iceland did uh, a good job of rallying the uh, the EU troops, and we set up a an EU time zone friendly. Um, version so that is now going to alternate with the US time zone friendly um, hangout and um, I, I, don't know, I think the first one went really well there's some really uh, really good guys on there uh, I will again I will link to the video kind of up there of the stream it went on for an awful long time um, so I the, it's the kind of thing that I'm fairly relaxed about that sort of thing so it doesn't bother me I know a few people talked about how nervous they were about it. But, uh, I, I don't think it really showed. I think everybody um, got into it. There was a couple of teething, technical teething problems at the beginning, but everything seemed to go well. So um, we will no doubt do it again. So I uh, look forward to uh, taking part in that again. And I urge you to go and have a look. Going forward, it will be on the um, uh, dedicated channel just for, for those hangouts. Both the US and the EU time zone friendly versions will be uh, will be on that same channel. So um, I, I would definitely urge you to go over, subscribe and, uh, and, and take a look at, at some of those. So if you've made it this far, then thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you taking the time. Uh, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you particularly like this content, then by all means hit subscribe and I will try to deliver more and more of this content as going forward. And uh, I thank you again for your time. See you next time, guys.